Like a terrifying pirate suddenly appeared on the deck of the sailing ship. His fearsome cutlass in his hand. He lunged at little Jim. The adversaries were ill-matched. <gasps> pirate was at least twice the size of little Jim. But little Jim was a canny fighter. <laughs> Just stay still. Little Jim courageously charged at the pirate. His incredible dexterity forced his adversary to back away. And he collapsed in a heap. Oh. You're done for, you freshwater pirate. Tell me where I can find the treasure. Talk! <coughs> Greenbeard, he's the one who has it. It's hidden on his ship. Which one? She's called the Blackmore. Hmm. Who? Oh. It, it's him. Elliot, look! What? Come and look, Daddy's brought home the boat. Huh? So, darling, what do you think? It's magnificent. Let me see. Wow! Hey, Dad! Dad, can we get on it? No, no, not right away. There'll be some workers coming to install the rigging. It's too dangerous. I don't want to see anyone on this boat without my permission. It's the Blackmoor, the ship of Greenbeard. Who's this Greenbeard? He's the most terrifying of pirates. He stole a great treasure and has hidden it on his ship. The nerve of that pirate parking his ship right below our windows. Yeah, and what's strange is that my dad has forbidden me to go on the boat. What? Are you saying he's in cahoots with Greenbeard? I would never have believed your father was a pirate. That's why Greenbeard put his boat in the backyard. Even so, I'm gonna take a look. Who knows, I might find the treasure. How do I look, Salami? <laughs> You're not too bad either. Come on, the Blackmore is waiting for us. Bring the rest later. The treasure. you mustn't climb onto the boat. Take out your notebooks, children. Really? You saw Greenbeard? Yeah, and I saw his treasure, too. Wow. Elliot Kidd, uh, how about sharing your conversation with the rest of the class? It's about Greenbeard the pirate, miss. He's hidden a treasure on his ship. Yeah, and his ship is right under Elliot's bedroom <laughs> window. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? You mustn't tell. Do pirates really exist? Of course. The pirates were bandits fearing no one. That's horrible! They attacked ships that they met on the sea. They were very cruel men. It was better not to fall into their hands. And why's that? 
They would throw you overboard in a storm, or they would lock you in the hold with the rats. We have to be careful, that's for sure. I hate rats. What can I use to get hold of the treasure? We'll put the planks behind the house. It's locked. Put it down here. throw us overboard or get locked in the hold with the rats. Ah, sure. Me ship's apprentices. Bring me back such a grand treasure. What an adventure. Let's toast glasses, me friends. <laughs> yeah. The treasure. It's gone. They must have put it somewhere else. Come on. Let's go. Uh -huh. We can't waste any time. Hello, is everything going all right? Yeah, yeah. No problem at all, Mr. Kid. It's strange. Elliot's not in the house. You haven't seen my son by any chance. Your son? No, we haven't seen him. I'm going over to look for him at Mimi's house. Hmm. I think I heard a rat. Actually, the clicking you hear is Elliot's teeth chattering. Th th that's not true, but let's get out of here. Hey, I think I can see a light up above us. Yeah, help me. We've got to push. <laughs> Oh, 
my car! What's happening? <laughs> what? I don't believe this. Oh, no. What have you done? Oh, Elliot? No more television for you for the rest of your life. Isn't that a bit harsh, Jeremy? After all, Mr. Kid, it's just a boat.